one of the best uses of the word they practice is for time management. For, for years, I was a private coach and worked with many, many successful writers and unsuccessful writers, and time was always a basic concern because we have many things that we do in our lives, and writing is like reverse dog ears. It takes four times as long to write anything as you, anybody who's written an email knows, right? Even a text. So um, what I think is very useful about the word day practice is this is a kind of organic time management in the sense that you are not taking a list of everything you do every day and you're not measuring your hours. It's a very different approach. The idea is that you, when you get up in the morning and you do the word of the day cluster, which takes you two minutes, you have a circle on a pad by your bed or close by. Uh, in my case, I sometimes allow myself to have a cup of coffee before I do it. Um, and then the idea is you set a timer for two minutes, you let a word come in, or you have a pre-planned word that you'd like to work on. And then you wait, breathe, get an image in your mind, and find a word to describe that image. And that's what you do. So this is not a traditional brainstorming technique. We're not very interested in how much you can do and how many ideas you can generate. We're very, very interested in having you train yourself into a new habit, which is to go from image to word as opposed to the other way around. Um, we do it naturally, but we're not always necessarily aware of it. And this is much more powerful when you're doing creative work. So that being accomplished, your next two minutes would be to do another cluster. And this one you could call time or problem time or whatever you want to call the word, but the time is the basic prompt there. And you want to then um, get and take the breath, set the timer, and Imagine what it would be like if you had the time to do whatever creative work it is that you're giving yourself not enough time to do. And what happens normally is that you start to imagine things like, you know, you're in an airplane and you're writing. You imagine that you're, uh, uh, you know, it's Sunday morning and everybody is somewhere else and you're in your basement painting or doing carpentry or whatever creative work it is that you like to do. And you do this four or five times and then you write for a little a minute or two uh, about how your perfect day would go if you could do all the creative work that you wanted to. So you don't worry about what's real. This is an act of imagination. And then you put it away. And that's how you go. You create uh, something that's a new word that makes you think of interesting things. And each day you do a little uh, cluster about how you'd like to spend your time. Uh, I find that doing this at the end of each night is a little bit daunting because changes don't happen right away. So I prefer to go for a week or so, and then take a look and compare my calendar and what I have actually done to what I have imagined that I would like to do using this particular, I keep making this gesture, it's a particular technique that stimulates your brain in a certain way that allows you to make changes. It's sort of like a battery pack because it incites a part of your brain that you don't normally call on. And when you check back, you will find that not only have you come up with a lot of creative ideas for whatever your project is, you will also find that somehow you are doing more of what you said you wanted to do. And I think that this is very worthwhile. And to me, this is time management. Because the idea that you go in, you know, and you, you, you sit there and you analyze every minute of your day is not useful because you're already doing what your brain thinks is important. That's not the problem. The problem is how to make a relationship between the creative part of your mind, which is not necessarily that practical, <clears throat> and the other side of your mind, which is only practical, and come up with a solution where you can move time around to accommodate your uh, creative interests. So if you find this interesting, please come and join me. See the information below.